Hello everyone. So this is the this is going to be the second installment of the Maltese uh, Semitic Roots of Maltese podcast that I I've been kind of neglecting and I I want to have this to be I want this to be something more regular because this is one of my favorite topics I just haven't had time because I'm I'm doing so many different things right now for Langshack. I'm trying to turn Langshack into into a much bigger thing for all of our languages, rare languages. So anyway, this is the second podcast. I'll try to make this more regular. I'm doing my best. I'm going to be doing my best here with that. But yeah, let's let's dive into this. So what is on the agenda today? So it, similar to the first episode, um, I've, I'm trying to make this more of a structured podcast. So I want to I want to share some expression, random expression in Maltese, which it's more than likely going to be an archaic expression. And then I want to share a grammar concept. You know, there's there's archaic grammar concepts. There's a ton of, there's literally tons of what are called what I would call stop words, conjunctions, adverbs, stuff like that. And I want to share a root that has in that that has taken the meaning of an expression, like it it, it its original meaning means something, but it's taken it's taken on a different meaning that has that's that's kind of more. It's it's basically an expression, and then I want to share an outdated word word that a word that may be in one of my old resources, uh, or a or a Maltese softy word meaning a purely Maltese word or old Maltese or some people may say uh, tananum meaning uh, that you know or buznanu meaning that grandma or some their their great grandma said it. And then I want to share a trilateral or quadrilateral root. So here we go. So this expression, which I found, which I found in the old Maltese Bible, this is this expression, it kind of reminds me of the English expression to wrap your head around something, but it doesn't mean that. It, it's it, it it just means to think about or to ponder on something. So you would take you would take Ross, which means head. And you and you attach on at the end of it. You attach the suffix that you know, like if, if you're the one who's thinking about it, you would say inhabil rasi. If he's thinking about it, you would say yahabil yahabil rasu. Or if you're talking about them, you would say yahablu yahablu rasum bil bines. You know, they're they're thinking about people. You know, and so this is basically how you would say it. So it so have. Um, hab hab and lam, h b hab hab b and l. It, it, this expression deals with ropes or roping around something. So that's that's why it reminds me of wrapping or wrapping your head around something. So the grammar concept. This one is a this one is it's common Maltese. It's common to everyday Maltese. So this one means both both object number one and object number two in maltese this is expressed through the construction seu object number one useu object number two this is purely unique to maltese i have not been able to find this in any other arabic or neo-arabic variety according to my research so this is this is something in maltese i don't even know how this came to be or where it evolved from so I provided three sentences here. The first one means I want to buy both the car and the house. Carrozza is obviously from Italian. Same word. There's not really there's not really a sofisto word for this. Read read nishtri dar. The second one means he will talk about he will talk about the abyss and the love. And it's it's funny because I wanted to do wordplay with this because I I had this word in my first Maltese podcast, and the first one means it, it's a it's a it's a it is an outdated Maltese word meaning love, like passionate, like passionate passionate love, and the other one means an abyss or or a pit, and both of these words are considered pretty. The first one is definitely archaic. It's not nobody. I don't even think most Maltese people would even know. And and uh and in Ewa, Ewa can also I believe it also means it's another word for air as well. It means fresh air. Uh but that's what the that's what the ha. And the next one means 
Can you give them? Can you give them a donation and sh- and some gifts? Tista tatilom wata otia ushiyameyeb. So this one, this sentence, this tatilom means give it to give to them. Give it to them. And otia otia is a donation and miba or. Or it looks like amoeba, but it's pronounced meba. And then the in, in the plural form, it's mayib. This word is is outdated in Maltese. Otia is still used. This expression is actually used in other Neo Arabic varieties. It usually deals with speaking incomprehensibly. Or something along those lines. It can vary from variety to variety, but that's generally a meaning that can be shared across uh, the Neo Arabic variety, uh, Neo Arabic varieties of the of Arabic derived languages or dialects, whatever you want to call them. And I put this so there is no such thing in Maltese as a G as a J as a a J with a dot on it followed by a ha. That does not happen. I put that. I spell that there to let myself know that it's a, that it comes from an Arabic r r r sound. So it's just pronounced law uh, law law. So ya law law in law law in talali, you know talali or talalia. And I wrote the Arabic word that it derives from, and this is how you would write it if because I tend I like to write Maltese. Uh, Semitic Maltese roots in the script uh, in the way that it was derived from Arabic. So, ilah, 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 So to this is this is today's Tananu word. I call it Tananu because I saw this one time. Some some Maltese some Maltese purist was writing a word about. They were they were writing some old some old Maltese words for for something saying people should be saying this and then this person said oh this is the way grandma say it and so I took that expression from it just to be funny so you'll be seeing that more in this podcast and I've always wondered how Maltese would say in the name of God or in God's name and I found this in Giuseppe in Barbara or Giuseppe or Giuseppe Barbara's dictionary. From 1939, 1940. Besim, besimala. So this is similar or it directly comes from Arabic's bismillah. Meaning the same thing in God's name. This is generally used to when people, when in any context in which someone would say in God's name or during their prayer. And it would be written on the second bullet point. Besim. Besamala. That's how you would write it if you were writing that Maltese in Arabic script. That's also the way they write it in Arabic as well. So today's trilateral root. I almost said quadrilateral though. Know, there. So lam ha nin or nun lam ha nun. This root deals with the use of the voice mostly. It's it's more used for voice or enunciating words and in there there's a separate there's a separate root for speaking but this root deals more with voicing out things so the different forms that it has lahan means voice and ilhana are voices it could also mean tone of voice so lower your tone of voice would be something like nizzle uh it would be like nizzle nizzle lehnek Lower your tone of voice. And the second one here, tilhen or tilhena, means giving voice. And tlahen is a passive verb, meaning it it's it has to be in front of it, it to be blah, blah blah to be spoken, to be voiced. And it's intransitive, meaning that no object is needed after it. So you can just say it was voiced or something was voiced. Like you could say you could say like Ishandar, um, I, uh, yeah, Ish, Ishandar, um, Ishandar, sorry, Ishandar Tlahen. 
the broadcast was was spoken. And then this next one, lahan, with two H's, with two has, people can say it. So when you're speaking your mind, you would say this. Or if you want to voice something, if you want to, if you want, if you want to voice something out, you also use this word lehen. This verb, I mean lehen. So you could say in lehen, um, and in lehen duar, duar shihaja. I I spoke my mind about something, or I speak my mind about something. Trahin or trahina means voicing or speaking. It's just a general, the general verbal noun for this. So. That's today's that's today's um, Maltese Semitic roots of Maltese and higher um, local mean right door and uh, meaning thank you all for watching it or thank you all to all thank you to all who watched it and I will see you all in the next episode of Semitic roots of Maltese.